Welcome to everything with Dauphin. So, since um, our father in the Lord, Prophet T.P. Joshua, passing, a lot of people have really, really made this can thing to be a serious thing. This can and PFN thing was not a serious thing while Prophet T.P. Joshua was alive, you know, to even answer to our prayers and some and, and our pains and some other things. It should not be issue now. If you're not um, a member of PFN, that is Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria or Christian Association of Nigeria, would you not make heaven? You know, uh, I think we're beginning to use this to miss the point. And remember that there's a revelation that said that immediately Prophet T.B. Joshua is taken. Shortly after Prophet T.B. Joshua is taken, we need to be on our toes because the beast will be revealed. That is from Apostolic Paul M.E., the man that predicted Prophet T.P. Joshua uh, was taken by six angels. And we know that that has been confirmed because angels came into the church and uh, one of the synagogue church members saw them, you know. So um, we are expecting the other aspect of the prophecy, which I don't believe that. I believe that it might come sooner than we think. Please. Can we focus on Jesus, focus on changing our lives, focus on making our lives better, worthy to receive Christ? T.P. Joshua has done his part. He has done his bid. Um, assignment that was given to him by God, he did it. Till even when God came to pick him, he was on the assignment. He has lived his life. He's in heaven. He's a saint right now in heaven. So uh, why are we still worried about Khan and PFN? Please, can we move on? Listen to what this Archbishop Fred has to say. He's basing a dose deed in according to what they said. Let's move away from all the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, Christian Association of Nigeria, a thing about Prophet T.B. Joshua. The man has lived his life. He's resting in Christ. And nobody can change that. Nothing can change that. So let's just move on. But however, watch the video and then let me know what you think in the comment section. When I hear my mentor, my friend, my brother, my father, T.B. Joshua died, I told somebody he didn't die. He has transformed. That is one of the greatest prophets that my eye has seen. He's a friend. And those who are castigating him, they are already going to hell fire. Even on earth here, they are already experiencing what I call hell. T.B. Joshua's body did not suffer in the hand of medical doctors. He walked to the last minute. That was why my father had bishop. It was the same thing. His body did not suffer in the hospital. There was no injection of this, that. That is the death that heaven permits. And those who are not saying rubbish, who have kept enemy even while he's alive and now that he's dead, they are already in hell fire. Many of them have become a big disappointment to somebody like me. Right now, I can see that following T.B. Joshua and his teaching, and the teaching of Archbishop Benson in Daosa, I am on the right track. If you are not there, please go and look for a prophet who hears from God, who God talks to, who is doing things to glorify the name of God. I pity those. I pity those. I pity those who are even keeping my list with a dead man on the grave, a dead man on the mortuary, a man that has made the whole world to know our nation, Nigeria. I pity them, and I don't know the kind of hellfire they are going. I am not a judge, but I can judge this one. I am not a judge. I can judge this one. Christian body in Nigeria, judge yourself. Christian leaders in Nigeria, judge yourself. Christian in Africa, judge yourself. From where Nairobi to South Africa, from wherever you are, please go and judge yourself and repent. All over the world, wickedness has taken over just like the water cover the sea. And Sodom and Gomorrah is better than the Africa of today, better than the Nigeria of today. So they couldn't see five. How many would you think they would go? If God come down, I will see. They are not up to three. So if you are not in that group, or you think your geo or whoever is a part, it's a lie. They are going to hell fire. Go and quote me, I'm Bishop Fred Agedo. They are going to hell fire. Heaven has shown it to me. They have even dis disgraced themselves on the social media with what we are hearing. 
they are already close to hell fire. They are even praying to die, and they won't see death. They won't see death. Let them be alive. They won't see death. Some of us are hungry of going back home because sometimes we've been privileged to have a little uh, taste or see how heaven looks like. If it's a, a place you go to, no sweat, no labor, it's a better place than this wicked world. So I just pray for you who have heard about this telecast. Jehovah God will turn your bitterness into joy. Repent and have a new mindset. Heaven is our home. We are going back home any moment from now. It's not only the clothes that will leave your body. The clothes will remain with this mortal body. But the real spirit inside of you will disappear. That is the rapture we are talking about. If Jesus is coming from the sky now, many of you will carry AK-45 to shoot him in the air. So it may not come like that. So he's calling people back home. Pray to die now. Pray to die now. Because what will happen very soon, many people will be praying for death. They will not see. Because of the suffer, they will suffer here in this wicked earth.